Hey, it's Adia. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be recreating a look that an incredible makeup artist created for the VMAs this past weekend. So Alana Wright Makeup is a makeup artist. She does like beautiful editorial but very like cool and fresh makeup looks. And she did this makeup look on Met Narrative. And it's just a really beautiful like metallic yellow eyeshadow, bushy brows, like bronze slash contoured skin, and nude lip. And so I think it's just beautiful for summer. It's, I think it's a really fresh and modern way to wear bright eyeshadow. And I just love this look. I love yellow eyeshadow. And so as soon as I saw this, I wanted to try to recreate it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. First off, I'm going to do my brows, and I've been kind of playing with this Ardell stroke of, stroke of Brow, and I heard about this from another incredible makeup artist, Katie Jane Hughes. She uses it all the time, and it's basically just like a pen that you use to draw in the eyebrows. And I mean, for somebody like me who already has like pretty thick brows, I think something like this is nice because it can just like fill in the sparse areas, sparse areas and give you that like full bushy brow makeup look. Make sure my brows are brushed up. And I'm just gonna like draw in brush strokes to really get that bushy brow. And the key to this is to make sure there's no product on your skin or else this will not work. Actually, do a little bit more here. Okay, I know this is like very bold, but that's the look that I'm going for. And then I'm gonna set it in place with this Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in Dark Brunette. Now that I've done my brows, I'm going to prep my face and I'm just going to use the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Any like moisturizer will do, really. And I'm putting a primer on because I'm going to use a stick foundation and I just feel like with stick foundations you always want to have like some kind of moisturizer or oil under it just to help them blend out. Better. And I'm going to use this Flesh Stick Foundation in the shade Nutmeg. I actually just picked this up a couple days ago because I was, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I was in Croatia last week and I'm probably like two to three shades darker. So I'm not going to put a bunch of this on, just kind of go in the middle of my face, down here, here, and here. It looks darker, but when I blend it all in, it works. I feel like the tan on my face is kind of fading because I exfoliate my skin more often than I exfoliate, you know, the rest of my body. So, um, yeah. But I think this foundation helps my face match my body a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more. This is like kind of thick. To blend like it's not super like emollient so I find it's easier to just like swipe on a little bit at a time blend it in and then swipe more as needed rather than putting a whole bunch on in the first go because it can be kind of difficult to blend and it also sometimes helps to um what was I gonna say like spritz the brush with like some fix plus or any kind of mist that you may have just to help blend things easier. Now I'm going to contour in the picture. It looks like really just like contour slash bronzer and highlighter. So I'm going to contour with this Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the 
um, it's a stick foundation, but it's in a contour shade and it's meek. So as you can see, it's like a very cool tone brown. Um, yeah, so I think that's like a really good contour for me. See, as you can, as you can see, it's very cool. It's like a grayish brown. And normally I don't contour with something like this, but I think it matches kind of the vibe that was in the picture. And I'm just using my same foundation brush to blend that in. There. So it actually does look pretty subtle. You can see the difference between the two sides, but it's not like overwhelming. So I'm going to hit my chin. It looks kind of scary though when it's swiped on, like it looks like hella gray. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna use an eyeshadow base. You guys know I typically don't use eyeshadow base, but I just kind of feel like for these shadows, it's necessary to just kind of have something to help the shadow grip better and lay down better. So I'm using this Urban Decay Primer Potion and the shade is Caffeine which you can tell is like a tan color. So it's really a nice color for darker skin tones. And I'm gonna use, okay, so first I'm gonna use this Lime Crime Plushies palette. And this is the Fresh Squeezed palette. And this yellow color is called, let me go back here. It's called Jackfruit. So I'm going to just use a Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader Brush to pack this onto my lids. So these are very like powdery. So I didn't do my concealer yet for that reason. I'm not crazy about these shadows to be totally honest. Okay. So as you can see, I'm kind of like layering it and I am getting that, that like baby yellow look. And I'm going all the way up to the brow bone. Yeah, these shadows definitely need a primer. I played with them previously without primer and was not really happy. They're very smooth, but they're just so powdery. They kind of just create a lot of mess. Okay, so now that we have the matte yellow down, you know, as you saw in the picture, it was actually like a metallic yellow. So I'm going to go over it uh, using the ColourPop Make Up Your Mind palette. And there's this yellow here, and I think it is called Forever Young. So I'm really just concentrating this on the lid. And I just going to bring the shimmer just kind of like, I'm not going to bring the shimmer all the way up to the brow bone. I'm just going to go kind of like above the crease. So there's the difference between the two. Next thing I'm going to do is tight line because you can see that around her lash lines it's very dark but it doesn't look like she has any liner. So I'm going to tight line the upper and lower inner rims. I'm going to do that off camera because it's really not pretty when I do it. Okay so I finished tight lining and I did like a really thin line on my upper lash line as well just to really define my lash line. And now I'm just gonna put a little color along the lower lash line as well. I'm just gonna only use this ColourPop palette for my lower lash line. So now I'm gonna just put a little bit more concealer, or not more concealer, some concealer on just so I clean up the under eyes and brighten a little bit. And I'm probably just gonna mix the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Amande and Caramel just to get the right color for my under eyes. 
And I'm using a Real Techniques um, setting brush. Especially when you wear like bright colors on the eyes, I think it's good to make sure that this area is bright just because the yellow can kind of bring out that like kind of sick look sometimes. So I think it's important to conceal the under eyes. I'm kind of like putting the darker one on just to kind of blend it so it's not like super, super light under my eyes and then like darker everywhere else. So I'm putting the darker one just like around the edges of the lighter one. Had a little hyperpigmentation right there that I'm just right now okay now I can do a little bit of bronzer but it's like a reddish brown satiny bronzer so I'm just gonna put that over where I contour it like I like reddish kind of bronzers in the summer because I think they just go well with my skin tone when I've been in the sun. So this is the Dior um, New Day Illuminizer in the shade four. I'm just gonna kind of very, very, very lightly like dust this over where I bronzed and just kind of like all over my face to add like that glow. For the actual like highlight, ColourPop on the cusp highlighter. This, it's cool toned, but it's just like, it's really gorgeous. Here it is. So it just looks like that like wet sheen on the skin. And I don't wanna use my fingers. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this like dual fiber brush from MAC. Uh, maybe I should use my finger. Okay. I'm just gonna like lightly put it, you know, in that like tight C kind of like area. I'm gonna put it kind of over in the brow bone just to get a little more shine there in that temple area. For my mascara, I'm gonna use the Lancome Monster Big because this is a really, really black eyeliner. I mean, mascara. So I think it's really good for this look. Okay, so for the lip, she has like a nude, glossy lip which I love and I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss in the shade toffee all right so here is the finished makeup look um I feel like if you don't do liner it can look a lot more like low key, whereas the liner and the heavier mascara makes it look a little bit more glam. I just love this makeup look. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.